A new marketing video for Halo Infinite has dropped. And what are the little hidden gems of this video? Halo Waypoint gets a facelift and an HTS blog details what they expect from you, the viewer. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? Welcome to the channel, the channel that keeps you updated with everything going on in Halo. Today we have a little bit of news, just a little bit of everything that's kind of happened the last couple days of Halo guys. Talking about a new marketing media trailer that just dropped, which was a pretty interesting watch. Halo's website gets a complete remake and an HCS blog that kind of details what they expect from the viewers when it comes to competitive Halo and also how to go pro essentially. So if you guys like these news and informational videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this and it greatly helps out the video getting that YouTube algorithm. Rhythm. If you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo, make sure you tap subscribe to keep yourself up to date as we ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite. So let's get right into the content here. So the biggest news drop that we had today was the reveal of the Project Magnus trailer, guys. This is showcasing a bit of a backstory of how the grapple shot was created within the lore of Halo. Uh, I'm assuming maybe we could have more of these with the other bits of equipment that we're going to have for Halo Infinite as well. I was kind of excited about this one because, well, the grapple shot is my favorite piece of equipment equipment within Halo Infinite. Uh, it's just the most fun thing that's probably coming to Halo in a long time. And uh, this is kind of an interesting little backstory of how the grapple shot was developed. It's just like a very quick little video just kind of showcasing like the blood, sweat, and tears that kind of went into this little bit of equipment here. Interesting thing is that this video is set in 2549, which is before the events of Combat Evolved. This is a few decades into the Human Covenant War right here. And it's kind of interesting how this is being specifically developed for Master Chief. And you get to see how she actually completes her task of making the grapple shot work, but then it takes like 11 years to get to Master Chief. Kind of interesting how that whole story works out. Interesting thing about 2549 as well. That is the same year Cortana is created as well. Is there any kind of correlation with that? I don't know when it comes to like Cortana's story or anything like that. Maybe we might see this come up in the campaign in some capacity, or maybe it's just some cool little backstory just to get people excited. I mean, this is kind of like a, if you guys ever watched those episodes of how it's built, you know, like I think it was on like the history channel or something like that, but this is like Halo edition. I suggest you guys go check it out for yourselves. It's on the Halo YouTube channel and on their Twitter as well. So there's a little bit of Halo lore for you guys. Next we have this month's design, the Halo esports ecosystem for november and this is a pretty good read it's a uh, pretty straightforward for the most part and that's a little write-up from tashi here because there's a lot of people with aspirations to go pro in halo this blog update does detail how to really go about doing that to kind of get your name out there and be noticed and also what they kind of expect out of viewers as well so definitely an interesting read i want to point out some little details that they were looking for you guys so the gopro they brought some tips up here they said stream when you play this era of gaming is probably the the easiest way for you to ever go pro in a game because you've outlets like Twitch and YouTube, Facebook and all these Twitter and all these other kind of media sources that get your name out there. Like they mentioned here, build up a community of your own. Great content, like they said, VOD content here to kind of get your guys' gameplay out there and notice, share clips, utilize social media. It's a huge key. It's not just straight up just play the game a lot. You gotta be active within the community as well. But they also mentioned that you wanna be more attractive to teams and sponsors as well. This is also very crucial. You can't be like a super toxic player you kind of want to keep it a little pg when it comes to getting your name out there so you're available for sponsors because that's what's going to be driving the financial part of competitive halo and competitive gaming in general guys are sponsors so you kind of want to be sponsor friendly Hashi also states that there are going to be multiple online tournaments for you to take part of as well. So it's not all going to be just these big HCS events are the only opportunities. They also state just about being a positive influence, but they do note that like not every single player is going to be like a role model type of player and that's okay. But I think it's more just kind of being like a source of good within the community. And like I stated earlier, the biggest thing you really could do is create a YouTube channel with your gameplay out there as well. If it's really good, it will get noticed. And they say here, like, you don't need like a hundred thousand subscriber channel to have people to get your attention. It's just about getting your name out there. If you really want to go pro, that's how you do it. Now, for all you casuals out there who just like watching HTS events such as myself, 
They give a little bit of a checklist of what they expect out of the viewers as well. One is to watch events and content. That's kind of obvious right there. Being active with HCS and everything in between that really helps out with providing this esports ecosystem a bit of legitimacy. I know I'm going to be watching these events all the time. This next part seems a bit uneasy to listen to, but it does make sense when you think about it. So purchasing in-game content, we do know that these partner teams will be getting special customization bits, which some of the leaks I've seen, uh, they do actually look pretty sick, not going to lie. And the fact that these partner teams are, get a cut which helps support their endeavors in Halo. So if you are going to buy microtransactions, these would be the ones to buy. And also just be active on social media. Tweet about this stuff, share videos, make content on it. I know I'll be talking about this when these events come around. It just helps get the word out there and get people interested in competitive Halo, which if you guys haven't ever tried competitive Halo or looked into or watched it, trust me, it's actually a lot of fun. You can learn a lot from these people and get a lot better at the game. Now reading that blog, you're probably like, wait a minute, Kevin. Kevin, this looks kind of different, and that's because Halo Waypoint just got a complete remake of Halo Waypoint V Next. Just in time for Halo Infinite's release, Halo Waypoint has a complete remake now, which honestly I feel like is still familiar, but yet I do feel like it's a better layout for the entire website as well as you pretty much like get the intro of like, hey, buy the game, which totally makes sense. And you scroll down, you have your news. It's all kind of organized nice and neat right here. So you can guys can check out all the recent happenings within Halo or you can subscribe to the channel. I'm just saying. You can also check out your service awards right here. It's basically kind of for me just to kind of showcase like how much I've played of Halo or things I've accomplished within various Halo games. So that's kind of a nice little thing to show off there. An update to your service records as well. Uh, I can guarantee you I did not finish Onyx 1 in Halo 5, but I appreciate the effort there. It looks like the legacy service records need a little bit of an update as well. It looks like just Halo 4 is the only one that's accurate. We have Combat Evolved Anniversary and Reach are not exactly showcased. Uh, ODSC 3 and Halo 2 do not have their information quite yet either. One thing that surprised me is that I put 25 days worth of gameplay into Halo 5's multiplayer. On the MCC service record, you can keep track of your battle pass right here. I tried buying things with, within here. Uh, you cannot buy anything with the seasonal points within this uh, preview here. Just kind of more just kind of keep you up to date on exactly where your spot is currently within the season pass for season eight of MCC. Your most recent games, as well as your highest rank in what mode. I was legitimately shocked when I saw I had 66 days played in the MCC. I didn't think I played it that much, but apparently I have. Also within your profile, you can quickly just click on redeem code and we'll take you right to where you need to do just that since it's gonna be a very common thing now with Halo's redeeming a lot of codes. So it's great to see that finding this redeem code section within Halo Waypoint is a lot easier than it was previously. And also at the top bar here, it just links you directly to the Halo support site so you can keep track of all your patches notes, submit bugs, and things like that. Though when Halo Infinite does launch, guys, you guys will be able to modify your customization as well through the website, much like you can through the app. Also keep track of your progression through Halo Infinite's Battle Pass. And of course, you got the long list of forms you can hop in on. So overall, pretty interesting stuff, guys. Keep an eye on your accounts out there. Get updated, jump on the Halo Waypoint, check it out. Especially when Halo Infinite comes around, you'll be using Halo Waypoint a lot more than you did previously. I guarantee you that. So if you guys are new to the channel or missing any content from me recently, Link, check out this playlist right here. I got a link to all my Halo Infinite news and informational videos. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.